Hi everyone, it's Karen here for Artist Life, and I have a new project for you today. It's um, an underwater sunken treasure, that's what I call it. It's a mixed media canvas, and I will show you step by step how I did it. And I'm just going to turn the camera around. Welcome everyone, and I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see the project. So, this is the project. It's a, uh, oops, uh, here we go. Now we have to start with the camera, fiddling with the camera until I get it at the right position. It's a uh, um, 9 by 12 flat canvas. I'll show you soon how it looks like when I can get the camera to stay put. Hi, Dawid. Okay, somehow every single time I have the same problem. Why does my camera not cooperate? It starts. You see, it starts going down, but at other times I don't have any problem with it. I should maybe not start moving it around and just not even having. Oh, God, I'm so sorry about this. It is so frustrating because it's still crooked and I can't get it to go. Should I rest restart everything? It is so annoying. I can't get it to go and it's still crooked. Sorry. All right. That is more or less what I can do. It is very frustrating when it does. Okay, so I have lots of different fun things here for you to see. And um, this is the canvas that I use. It's just a cheap, flat canvas. And I'm just going to do some things with it. Uh, the first thing I want to show you, no, the first thing I'm gonna do is just I used a Seven Dot Studio, a Seven Dot Studio paper. This is um, from the Destination Unknown collection. It's called Celestial because it looks like stars, like, um, and then it has just a blue background on the back. So all I did is I just ripped it. Let me just. It's just just be, being lazy and not wanting to take out the trimmer. Um, so I ripped it. Basically, I wanted, I had have had it in a ripped kind of motion here. Um, okay. So I started from here, and I just ripped it to have it right that like that. Pretty easy. And then I used the back of it. Two. Oh, I ripped it backwards. Oh, maybe I'll. Sh maybe I sh okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, I used the back of it to create a blue here. So let me see. I think more like this. I want some of the blue to show. So yeah. So I'm basically just eyeballing it. No real. Since it's mixed media, it can be any way you want it. Okay. And um, okay. And then I'm going to put the extra piece over here. Okay, there we go. So that's the that's the um, the thing, and I'm just going to glue it with some gel medium. Very easy. Hold on. So I'm just using soft gel medium to glue this. You can use any type of medium, any gel. And okay. I'm wasting a lot of paper here. I don't need to technically need to use all of it, but I'm just being lazy and trying to be quick about this. Okay, so 
I apologize about the technical difficulties. When people watch the show, hopefully they'll they fast forward the um, the the areas where they didn't like where I'm trying to fiddle with my camera. So I'm just gluing the blue first. And this is this this is very simple part. Nothing nothing that you don't know. And then I want to use this to just put on top. And the reason why I chose a flat canvas as opposed to um, a regular one, besides the fact that they're cheaper, but also because um, it's much, it's a, it has a much harder flat surface, so it's much easier to use. I find it easier to use, that's what I'm... Okay, hold on. Let's use a little bit more glue here. And take it out a bit so you can see it. And seal. So I, well, the reason why I put the papers here, I want to keep this area kind of blank. Um, don't want it to be all covered. It just gives it's a better it just gives it a better better balance. Hold on, I want to make sure that everything is glued here. And yes, I do get bubbles. I'm not perfect. I don't care if I'm not perfect. A lot of people don't like these bubbles, and I could get technically work them out, but um, I just do. Hi, Janush, and the weed. I don't know if I said hi, but hi. Um, I'm just going to cut the excess. Okay. All right. So this is it for that. Now what I want to do much too much is I want to add some white gesso just a little bit just to give it a small uh, white wash small white wash oh let me tell I had asked Olga if she could she could um, moderate because I wasn't sure if if Rika could, Rika, we got. I think I got. I got. Got Rika confused. Don't think so. I'm gonna tell Olga that it's okay. It's okay. Um, okay. So yeah, I was supposed to tell Olga to moderate today, and I forgot about it. But it's okay. It's all good. Okay. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a whitewash with the gesso. All it is is just putting a little bit of gesso and spraying it with a lot of water so making it very liquidy and I need more water in this and what it does is that it makes I'm just dipping it in my it makes it very 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 smooth and liquidy and then all you do is just gently pass it with um, on the canvas it just kind of blends everything together um, I do need to put gesso because um, because my canvas has the gel and I want the sprays to kind of uh, adhere to, uh, like basically f stick to the background so I do need a kind of gesso-y surface I do want a little bit I want to use a little bit of gesso also with a bit of thicker gesso and just cover kind of the ends just to make it all Kind of go together and that's basically just the easy part very very easy nothing new that you've learned today I guess um, so uh, let me 
I didn't see the question. Oh, Leda, this is a Seven Dot Studio Destination Unknown. It's called Celestial. It's because it has like these star looking things. Okay, let me put this away so it doesn't interfere with what I'm creating. Okay. Okay. Okay, I like to have my surface clean when I so you can see. Let me put a little bit more light. There we go. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. So now Okay, so now um Okay, I see some more people come in but I, I just I'm too busy looking that I cannot see who's coming. Okay, I used um this is a Seven Dot Studio stencil is from the same collection from the Seven Dot Studios Destination Unknown collection and I just used it to create a little bit of texture around. So I took the light paste, you can take any modeling paste and and with my um, with my spatula, which is my favorite tool to go with, not the spatula, the palette knife, I'm just going to create a little bit of texture in the background. And really, I'm doing it randomly. There's no reason, rhyme and reason why I'm using one or the other. I do want, it's not true, sorry, I want the motion, this type of motion going downwards, but not maybe in a row. So here, I do want um, some of these arrows to go at this direction and maybe another one here just be careful with this okay and sorry and I do want a little bit of these kind of bubbles in some places and I added very little bit of texture on this uh, white white out area like this area that I don't have that many things on so just a little bit of texture just to kind of um no I don't like this one um just some bubbles and yeah that's about it I did want to see this looks like a map kind of like measuring tape so I want some of that and I am going to use it here too so just this is just as I said just for texture you can use any stencil you like of this one of the of all that you like there's no rhyme or reason why I'm using this I just want to create things on the background and then some more bubbles Let's try to make them without ruining anything. Yeah, some more bubbles here and maybe here. Okay, just I have to turn that around so I don't ruin the canvas. So there we go. This is the more or less the most amount of texture that I want uh, to add. I don't want that much because I'm gonna put so many more things on it, right? So you don't want to overload it. Um, cleaning this stencil from the extra with I don't like wasting paste um, so that's another thing all right so while I clean it should dry a little bit this paste dries really fast for those of you who know me it's my favorite one to use yeah unfortunately the, the this the stencil is because a lot of the collections sell out. Seven Dot Studios is coming out with two new collections and they'll be available for sale very soon. And they're really gorgeous. And they're actually designed by the same person who designed this one. I just don't have them yet. Otherwise I would have probably used them for this project. Um, so once you, it's just worth it. If you'd like the collection, you should buy the actual uh, stencils and stamps that comes with it because that's the first thing that runs out. They usually have papers, but the collections um, are not, the, the stencils are usually not available after a while. 
Those are the first ones to go. Okay. All right. Here we go. Um, as I'm drying, I can say hello to everyone. I think I saw Joanne there. I saw somebody from Norway, but I don't know what their name is. Um, I think I said hi. I'm not sure who else came in. Let me just look up a little bit. Uh, Petra, I saw. So I think it's Scrappy Girls. Scrappy Girl from Norway. But I don't know who it is. I don't know if it's maybe it's Christy. Kristen? I'm not sure actually. Did she say who she was? Okay. Actually, while I'm drying this, I do want to, um, while this is drying, I want to just grab a couple of my chipboard pieces and just kind of cover them in, cover them in, in um, white gesso in the meantime and also oh yeah no that's it so i'm gonna cover these these are um blue Fern studios some of them and some of them are from seven dot studios so it's from wow wow um wow studios which is like um they have different this comes with the seven dot studios ones but the most like these three are seven oh no sorry never mind these are all blue Fern studios what am I saying? The other canvas has like some of the seven dot studio ones. I just couldn't. I didn't have doubles of each. Um, uh, I don't have. I don't. I didn't have double of each ones. Oh, so she said her name. Hold on. And I missed it. Or Renette. Oh, okay. Hi, Renette. Okay, good. Renat. Is it Renat or is it Renat? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Either way. Okay, so I'm just going to cover these in gesso. Just so I can add them later to the page. And I'm trying not to make a mess so I don't have to clean it up. And just lightly, this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, because um, hold on. Can you guys see? So good. So that's one. I'm being lazy, and I don't want to take these out. Um. Hi, Jaya. Yeah, Yaja. Yaya. Oh my god, now I can't say your name. Jaya. Is that how you pronounce it? Okay, she's from India. She, have you seen her work? It's also gorgeous. Um, okay, there we go. I'm almost done with this. So, this gives me time for it to dry. Today, I'm not in a rush. I don't have to pick up my daughter. Somebody's picking her up for me. So. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Just quick, quick, nothing. Again, I know I keep on saying just quick, but uh, oh, I see Re Re Rika that you've been to Norway. I haven't been anywhere in Europe. Can you believe that, guys? I'm going to be there hopefully this September. We're going on a 20th year anniversary um, on a trip. So. But we're going to be in Spain and Italy a little bit. But I've never been to Norway or Finland or, or anywhere for that matter. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we're going to kind of place the, the embellishments. I want to show you everything that I have. My, the main focus of my, of my um, canvas is this uh, star. It, it is real. It's a real starfish that I bought um, when I went to 
I don't know, some beach, some island. I found them, I bought two, and they're perfect because it, you know, it was the doubling up for this. Um, then I also added something else. So I don't know if you guys seen these uh, molds by Prima. And these are uh, molds that you can use with paper clay that they also sell. They come in these packages. Okay, and there is a six, six or seven of them. And what I did is I created these. I already did pre, like did these in advance because I didn't have, I didn't know, I didn't. That they take 24 hours to dry, and they're very, very nice. So I made a few different ones. I made this one, and I think I need to see. This is an extra piece that doesn't need to be there. Yes, I want to come to Finland. Uh, who says, oh, she's Rika saying that I want to come to Finland. Yes, I do want to come to Finland. Okay, so this is one of the things. I really love this one. It reminds me of the face of a mermaid. What I wanted to do with this, um, with underwater treasure is to just make it seem as if this whole canvas was underwater and all the treasures were found in a sunken treasure chest or something like that. That was my idea. And so I wanted to make it look that way. Um, the other thing is for these molds, I mean, I'm not showing you how to do these today because there is, um, there is a few videos. Miranda Edney from the Prima Marketing um, design team has a really great video how she made these it's a short video so you can watch how she does them I literally followed her instructions the other thing I forgot is that I wanted I add I did use some uh, cheesecloth in the background and I'm gonna do this before I glue all these together okay so bear with me so I'm just gonna move these embellishments first and I'm gonna add some cheesecloth I love adding cheesecloth to to the backgrounds because it gives it great texture and you can buy this basically anywhere walmart dollar store or in europe i'm not sure where but i'm sure there's places you can buy this this is just cheesecloth that you use for baking or what the grandmothers used to use to to make cheese when we were younger now when well, some people still do sorry i shouldn't insult those who actually make cheese fresh cheese that's great okay so there we go and I'm just going to use a little bit of soft gel to glue it okay so I mean the texture is kind of hiding underneath I know it's kind of pointless what I did but some of it is still showing and that's the most important thing um, Mm -hmm. I need to put a lot of this on so it will stay. You want it to really stick to the background because it's just for texture, it's not, you don't want it to be sticking out after. what I'm doing yeah it's not crooked is it I want to add a little bit more here at the top um, not too much maybe just here because um, I do want to leave some of the in the stenciled area intact but wherever I don't have stencil I can just add extra this okay there we go it doesn't matter if it's wet we're going to be sticking things onto it so it's a perfect thing to just let it we don't have to dry this layer which is really nice so it also looks like netting from a fish um from a fish uh net or whatever you know from a how do you call it fishing raw uh, <coughs> fisherman that's what i'm trying to say okay so now going back i will put this here and then I'm just gonna play around with the different elements. What I did is I did use the fishing, not the fishing, now I'm calling it fishing, the cheesecloth. Um, I did use it to 
to create it uh, sorry to make it things balance on each other so let's see how it works so I really like look how pretty this shell is so let's see so I'll go use some of this cloth to kind of prop some of the materials some of the embellishments for example this one I just kind of needs a little bit more Okay, there it is. So you can use this is the nice thing. You can it's kind of soft, so it gives it a good uh, embedding, and at the same time you can use it, it doesn't break, right? So let's see like this. All right. What else do I have? Let me look. Oh, I forgot the chains. And you want I want to kind of hmm use them like this so I will cut them because you can pretend that the chain is one length but it doesn't have to really be you can just hide it underneath and start it again there we go and I think the star the north star instead of um, I don't have another anchor so we're going to put the wheel the steering the the boat of the wheel of the boat which is re still really nice and um, just trying to think I can put this somewhere else let's see maybe here just to make it a little bit different and hold on okay alrighty um, I also use a clock. These are the junkyard findings from Prima. Um, just you know, there's a there should there's probably a clock that fell in the ocean at one point, right? And I'm gonna add an extra shell here to kind of hold the clock upright. And I really like this shell. I want to see where I can where I can have it. Let's see. I need another shell, one more shell. Oh, this is a nice one. Look how pretty this one is. This one should go here. So I still like this shell. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. And I need, oh yeah, and one more thing. I also got these. This is from the, from the, the glasses from the dollar store. And this is actual sand that I collected on one of my trips. And yeah, I actually put it at the end of this chain. Let's see. Oh, I think we should put this. This is now. Oh, these are um, flare. This is a flare from the same collection, from Destination Unknown collection. So I think it should go here. I think maybe the clock should go here. It feels like. Okay, hold on. Still haven't found a spot for my shell. Maybe there. And I need one more shell, right? Yes. Well, another beautiful shell that can go here. And then the star on top of it, this star. I think we're good. I don't think we need these unless we need this one here. No. Okay, so that's good. So I kind of found myself what I like, the way I like it to set it up. It's a little bit different than the other one, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Um, okay, so now we're just going to glue them. Um, just going to glue some of this. Well, I think this is the right side. And what I did to, to, use, to glue them is I used a heavy gel. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss any of the embellishments. No. Okay, so I used the heavy gel for the... Oh no. Somebody's asking me, one of, is Vivian there? She's asking me what the mask is, but I right now cannot explain to her what it is. Um, okay, sorry. With a spatula, i just going to... Um, Oh, what is a mask? She's asking what a mask is. Can somebody explain to her? 
a what a mask is like it's like a stencil a mask is like a stencil i will have to um answer her after just because okay this one already has the gel it's kind of sticking to the gel that's underneath so i'm just using the heavy gel to kind of stick the embellishments together it, it's really good i mean it does take 24 hours like overnight to dry but it's um but it's really like holds things together really well it's one of the new finabare uh, mediums and it's excellent i love it now for this i think i'm gonna need let's see oops how did i have it here i must have had it okay no oh my god how did i have this star how was this star like that oh yeah okay um so hold on uh, i need to put a little bit of the, this this underneath of the star so it props up the middle because the middle is kind of hollow so let me put a little bit of this that's too much then that and then okay it's still too hollow okay It needs to kind of prop up. Okay, there we go. I think this will help. Okay, it's just not, it's not wanting to stick here. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then I want to put this one together too. I keep on getting buzz buzzes from from my phone that I don't mean to get okay all right now it's good it's holding together okay now this same with this don't need to put it everywhere only where it touches and I need to put this one so I just see that I already have it in a good spot, so I don't want to move it. I'm worried if I move that I will have it will it will go out of place. Um, okay, I'm going good timing. I'm just checking the time for that myself. For those of you who watch this after, um, I know it's slow, but it's a live show. A lot of people and don't understand that this is a this is a this is a live show and it's just recorded after it's recorded during the show and it's shown after i've had comments of people saying that it's too slow that i lost their attention but they don't realize that this is a live show and i'm interacting with other people and thank you everybody for saying okay so thank you for your comments that's what i meant to say Okay, and the star, yeah. And the wheel. So I'll show you some stuff, I'll show it to you from close up in a sec. everything yeah okay now I want to just kind of stick some things to others oops see too much I want to make sure that things are stuck well together you don't want because once this is dry it's it will never come off but because it takes a, long, a little bit longer to dry you don't want it to like start moving especially when you start spraying okay so that's why okay so hold on did i not glue this one yeah one sec i want to put some more here okay perfect so this is basically the composition 
it looks weird now until you put the color but this is basically the composition of the actual um, canvas now um, sorry one sec I'm going to clean this up and show you just some stamping that I did so, so I have used another this is also this is a stamp I like using the collections um, in conjunction with each other so this is the clear stamps this is the clear stamps from the same collection from the from the destination unknown collection and I'm gonna get myself my ink and again I just added a little bit of just texture in some places so I took there's a script stamp and I just went and stamped some of the areas where where it just needed a little bit of extra stuff oops here and not that sure why you can even what's nice about these you can actually stamp it's not the best stamp for it you can actually stamp these um, mold molded things I'm just gonna add some more texture gonna, I like this star so I'm going to add it to to the background see things still moving that's why I want to do some of the steps like this before and it's just to add extra texture for the layers right I mean not everything comes out and it doesn't matter and what else I like this this is like again the measuring tape so we can add a little bit of extra of this here oops I keep on saying oops I know it's like a, now today my favorite word I usually have other words and there and some here and just kind of making a border I think I added this stamp too but I don't know if I need to add it for this one it's just um I think I added it underneath and uh, now this is all glued in so I can't really add it okay I can put it here Oops. as you see I'm not a very good stamper <laughs> so okay no that didn't, that didn't work yeah I think I must have stamped before I put all the embellishments so that's why it looks different I think my ink is running out. That's okay. Okay. So, I mean, it's just for texture. There's no rhyme or reason of how to do this. Okay. And a lot of it was is going to be covered up, so you just you don't want a perfect image of everything. Okay. So, now that I've done that, I'm just going to Oops, let me just fix all this. Okay, so the way I did it is I actually put stuff behind here and let things drip. So I'm gonna put, let's see, I want to put some of the wipes here at the bottom so it doesn't make a big mess. And then I'm gonna put some of these. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Sorry. I use this texture paste. It's called texture paste white sand to wax to add some more texture in the background, even more. And although you can't see it in the actual canvas, um, it is actually quite texturized and it adds a very cool effect. So I love adding this with my finger. That's basically what I do. So I just kind of roughly. I roughly added like this so when the spray goes on the area where it's textured 
it kind of leaves a really cool effect. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, there we go. All right, so that was it, and I'll show you in a second. I'll show you in a second the texture and how it looks, okay? All right. So there is the texture, you can see it there, okay? So I will dry that up, but first I just want to add, the other thing I did is I added a little bit of gesso in some areas. So the reason why I did that is so, um, so you get some areas covered fully in gesso and some areas that are the, the white, I mean, sorry, some areas of the when you spray will be a little bit like with the gesso and the other areas will be will go straight onto the actual object so it just gives it two different effects I also did this to the bottle just as if it was buried underneath and gesso is a great thing so you can basically hide things if you don't like them or bring things to life it has both effects okay not too much it's just kind of you can also create texture with gesso which is really nice so some of the areas will be texturized all right there we go so just a little bit so this all looks white and what I did is I use these new sprays that came out of CHA they're the Finabare sprays and anybody who went to Art Venture was able to get these hold on I'm not sure let me see I'm gonna make sure okay so yeah so I'm going to get this one called Dragonfly Blue, Fairy Pond, and Golden Oregano. Let me see if there was anything else that I wanted. No, I think this is good. So I'm going to spray in some areas. And the way that, um, hold on. And the way that I'm going to um, spray it, I'm going to spray it and I'm going to then water it down with some of the water so in some areas only okay so let's start with this so look how like you know how well it is and actually I can move I'm gonna move the camera a little bit forward and you guys are gonna be able to see it much better oh there's my dog barking okay so here you go and I'm going to kind of water it down so it kind of drips to the bottom and that's how I'm creating the drips yeah there we go and maybe like here and the drips are created as we're going down okay if i don't like the some of the drips i just wipe them off and i'm going to start with the other color uh -huh. this is called fairy pond i mean you can use any sprays here you can use lindy's you can use um not necessarily you can have to use these um, I just really like the way they look uh, I'm gonna mix some green in it because green and if you mix the green and the blue what it happens is that it, it creates um, a kind of aqua effect underwater effect okay and the more you water it down it's just the cooler it becomes it's just some things are still wet so so it's still choosing to kind of drip down okay and again I'm leaving this area as clean as possible I'm just going to spray over here and if you want the areas to be darker then you keep the, the you keep the you keep the, the air, I mean the more the spray up. If you want it to be lighter, then you spray water on top. 
Okay. And I need some more green here. Let's see. And let it drip again. I'll show it to you in a second. And oh, let's see how this bottle is flowing down when I don't want it. Oh, I really like this effect. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's so wet. It's so wet. All right. Now I think I might add a little bit more, not the fairy pond, I want the dragon, dragonfly blue. Okay. And I just want that really deep color to go in there. And maybe in here too. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so some of the areas need a little bit more. And I can always go with a brush if I want to. And just, you know, Add it in other areas where I missed, like for example here. Um, Heather, I'm using the ones that we got at, at CHA. These are the, didn't you buy some of these? I'm not sure if they're still available yet, but they will be. Uh, oh, sorry, what colors? Dragonfly blue. Fairy Pond and um, Golden Oregano. These are called Pixie Dust from Art Alchemy. So, so yeah, sorry, I just saw now that you wanted the colors again, so I did. And I'm just um, kind of dabbing it a little bit. Just dabbing where I don't want things or where I do. And that's basically the thing. It's so very wet right now. No, it's not. I'm not done yet, but I want to show you. Um, another thing is um, one of these canvases is up for sale because I don't need two of them. I'll put it if somebody wants to buy this one or the butterfly, the the um, uh, how do you call it? the butterfly, the light bulb from last week. Feel free to PM me to message me if you're interested. Um, I'm selling one of each of those since I have two of them. Uh, okay, let me see. I want a little bit more blue here. Oh, look at this. This one doesn't have anything. Let's put some green in this. And some green here too. And there we go. Um, okay, so, so let me just, I just too much. Okay, there we go. So, I mean, you keep on playing with it until you're satisfied with what you get. And obviously you have to let this dry thoroughly. Um, but before I let this dry, or maybe I'll heat dry a little bit. So, so I can um, chat with you guys. So yes, the face. Somebody's saying the face looks perfect there. It actually reminds me of as if it's a mermaid hidden inside or a statue of a mermaid. Um, so yeah. That's basically what reminds it reminds me of. Oh, I forgot to add. Oh, my goodness. I just realized I forgot something. I forgot to add the stickers. I did have, I did add some, let me just go back for a second, backtrack, backtrack myself, because I did have some of these stickers that I had, I had, um, these are from Seven Dot Studios, and I had added some of these, and now there's no space for them, oh my goodness, I wonder if I could still add them in some places, just to add, because I did add some texture, and I will color them again. So I still have some some stuff there because I just wanted to add even more texture because <laughs> you know me never enough a little bit of texture is not enough and um, yeah so yeah I don't know if you know what it does add so that's why I wanted to go back and do this no I don't know I think it went here. So, I mean, there's, again, a rhyme or reason why I'm doing this. Um, but there's already enough glue at the bottom that I can do it without damaging anything. Um, 
and I think I added some of this too. Hold on, where am I? Or these. I just wanted a little bit of like kind of um. This was good. I added over here, and I'm just gonna color them. So this one was on the side here. And it's perfect, I think, also. I could add this star on top. Let me add some gel. Can't believe I forgot this step, I apologize. Um, there we go. So I'm, I put the star on top of the chipboard star. And what else? I should have put this one underneath the clock it would have or underneath this it would have looked really cool there it is yeah, and anything can fit anywhere let me just kind of seal these a little bit i feel bad that if they start going down once i okay you see and while i'm i'm sealing them that some of the color is kind of going on top of it so they kind of sealing into the background um okay later i'm going to say the colors again i use the dragonfly blue the fairy pond which is the green one oh no sorry the blue one and then the golden oregano which is the green okay no worries you can ask me as many times as you want just putting some some more of this here so the reason why i added these is because they added like even more texture onto the background and i really like that and layers I like the layers so as you can see you can really see the difference it kind of gives it that it helps with the downward movement so that's why I actually did it um, let me spray just a little bit tiny more okay I can use that okay okay and the other thing I did this is not my ideas. This is somebody else's idea. I just think it's Marta's ideas. This is uh, from the canvases. I save these now. And I made a sign out of it. So what I did is I um, just covered it with a sticker. Oh, this is too thin. Hold on. I need a thicker one. Okay. Sorry, one second, I'm getting a, a thicker sticker. Um, okay. Oops. And then I chose the title. The reason why it's called Sunken Treasure, it's because it's one of the titles. All these stickers and all these uh, embellishments are from the same collection. From the destination I've known, it was designed by Didi Kat Katrin, Katrin from for Seven Dot Studios. So this one is just a sign, kind of goes here. Okay, maybe I'll put it. Oh, maybe today. Maybe it goes here today. I don't know because this one is too high for me. No, I think it still goes there. So um, I'm gonna glue it. And I'm going to put the, I'm going to spray it so it blends in with the rest. And, okay, good. I'm just going to dry it and then I'm going to put the, okay, so, so yeah, Joanne, she's saying that it, I did so much in so little time. You're right. But it took me a long time to design it. So now I'm just literally copying. When you're copying something straight from another project that you already designed, it's much easier. You don't have to do much. So I basically just um, just copying the design and it's just really easy. I don't have to do so much as I would have done if I had to uh, design this from scratch. So, so oh, somebody's asking what's the difference between the Fins Mist and the Color Bloom Sprays. So the Color Bloom Sprays 
are first of all not um, not uh, some of them are shiny but not all of them the difference is the the new pixie dust is literally all of them are very highly pigmented with mica and the point of them is is that they have no binding agent so when you're spraying them they don't uh, they're not sticky when they're sprayed over gesso or any other medium well the color blooms sometimes depending on where the area where you live can become very can become sticky over over a certain um, mediums the the pixie dust doesn't apart from that they're 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 shiny they have like this different type of colors they're more uh, there's different type of uh, colored mica if that makes max makes sense um, there was uh, I think a recall on some of these so that's why I think they haven't been released but they will will be released soon I just got them at CHA some people were able to get these um, so that's why some of us have them I just really like the depth of the color so that makes sense yeah so as yeah what 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 Rika is saying is true so yeah they're just basically mica and water and because they're only mica and water they will not feel sticky after okay so the last step I did I just wanted to have this a little bit dry before before I add this last step okay I want to show you the depth of the colors it's just the colors are different also not only they're very uh, deep colors so there is the actual sunken treasure and what I did is there's two, there's two options you can do next after this part so you could go ahead there is one of the colors it's called one minute one of the new colors is called Pot of Marigold, and it kind of has a rustic kind of color, so I could spray it. Hold on. Oh, it's clogged. Never mind. I'm not spraying it. Ah! Oh, my God. I just sprayed my face. I have... Oh! Just wetting my eye. Sorry. That was funny. I never had that. That has, that has never happened to me before because it was clogged. You see? So it has a kind of... Um, it's kind of like a rusty effect there we go and it's really pretty if you do not have this color there's an easy solution you can use alcohol inks I'm going to use this caramel one and what I did is I basically put it here at the top. Ah, what is going on today? I'm too strong. And let me just do it this direction. Okay. So let me just make it a bit closer to you guys so you guys can see. So I put it at the top and then with a little bit of water, I let it drip. And I want it the rusty color kind of coming into the surface then you can go in between different like you know the shells because underwater things when they're in touch with oxygen and things like like underwater they tend to rust right so you need to add this rustic element to the um, rusty, rusty element to the background because it just makes sense okay and a little bit over here so as I said if you don't have those those sprays not to worry um, just now the nice thing about alcohol inks is that they dry how you put them so if you're not spraying it with water it will stay the way you did it however if you spray it with water as soon as you put it on so 
it will just it will just spread it. It's still when it's still liquidy. So that's why I can spread it here on this face. And it will still look good. Okay, hold on. All right. So this is the this is the um, how do you call this way? Oh, it's burning my eyes. Okay, hold on. All right, so this is the, now I just have to add the title. And the title is from this sheet. And the nice thing about the Seven Dot Studios is that um, they come with lots of different things that you can use. One of them is these, this um, sheet of different um, sayings. The one I'm choosing again is Sunken Treasure because I really like it and hold on oops I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit treasure oh no I don't I cannot cut it up I did cut it into two that's what I did and I'm gonna and this is what I use for the title and it kind of raises it up right so sunken treasure okay Okay, and I just want to seal it with a little bit of the gel. You don't want it to be lifting up. Yeah. So, I just want to clean this a little bit too. This looks nicer when it's clean. And I just want to dry it a little bit more so then I can add a little bit more color. Let me see, is there any questions anybody has? Okay, hold on. So now that this is dry, um, I just want to pick up some of the color that is there and just kind of transfer it over here. Um, the reason why is that I don't want to um, have too much color there, but I still want it to kind of fit into the background. There we go. Okay. And hold on, I think the chains are usually pretty rusted. So I need to kind of rest these chains a little bit more. Yeah, because chains are usually very rusted, right? Especially because they're metal, if that makes sense. And I think there's too much light here because, okay. So here's the actual sunken treasure. It's a canvas, still wet, but this is basically the idea and as I said uh, it's up for sale anybody who needs it or wants it or whatever I'll gladly ship it anywhere just go ahead and um, and and message me and uh, well they're calling me from my son's school so let me stop the record oh oh my goodness one minute guys hello Good. Can I can I call back in a few minutes? I just am in the middle of a meeting. Yes. Oh no. Can you call me? Can you call me in ten minutes? Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, this happens every time in the show. Why does she always call me during our meeting? Okay. So, so basically, this is the. I apologize for the people that are going to be viewing this after that. I will not going to like it. Uh, okay. So this is basically my my uh, treasure sunken treasure and yes so I will I will just turn around and say if, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who came and also want to tell you that we have a special uh, guest next week it's a surprise I'm not telling you who it is somebody new um, thank you so much for coming everyone I really appreciate uh, you guys showing up every every week and spending time with us and enjoying yourselves and see you next week 
I will update the Facebook with who it is and what information and what they're going to create. And we'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for coming to Artist Live.